Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with just a little short sort of mini haul slash happy mail today. <clears throat> Pardon me. As you saw by the thumbnail, I had a couple little packages that I have already opened, but I do want to share it with you. Um, first, I won something. That's right. From Garden State Gardener, that is Joe. He does his Sunday Fun Day, which is like a giveaway extravaganza, plus he showcases some channels and stuff. And he also has Hot Mondays or Pierogi Mondays or whatever he's calling it this week, where he tries a pepper powder or something hot. It's a short one. Um, there's usually some giveaways. And that's where I won this. Yes, I won a koozie. A Rutgers slash Adidas koozie. So that is very cool. But... As per normal for Joe, he threw in something a little extra. He threw in some seeds, y'all. Um, Baker Creek heirloom seeds, lettuce, and something that I cannot pronounce because I think it's French. But basically, it looks like a red leaf lettuce. That's going to be awesome if I can manage to, to take care of that. And he threw in a couple of hot peppers because hot peppers, that, that's what the Monday thing is all about. Um, this one is a habanero. And this one is the Cascabella. I don't know anything about either one of them. I'll have to look them up, but I have not done anything with that yet. Of course, obviously, they're still in the packet, right? But Joe is awesome. Joe is always very, very busy. And um, his channel is a lot of fun. And so many different people. It's not just gardening. He also crochets. He doesn't show any of that, but he crocheted when he was younger. So he does give away crochet gifts and stuff too. But he knows that I have been, you know, he has tempted me into the gardening world, okay? And I'm looking over there at my little plants and stuff. They're going. Not outside yet because it's not time for that. But there's that. My other uh, happy mail today, you may have seen the little sticker that I showed there. Mm-hmm is something that I ordered from Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. And uh, her channel will be linked, of course, and you better go check her out because she's awesome. Now, what I ordered were some stitch markers. She makes these really cool stitch markers that look like hanks of yarn. The little high-end hanks that you get when you buy hand-dyed yarn, okay? Yes. First off, she knows that I wear them as earrings when I get them for myself. So she sent me these blingy ones for a pair of them. Isn't that pretty? That is so holiday, yes. Those are definitely getting busted out this coming holiday season. The rest, though, the rest are for my birthday week. My birthday is in June and I'll have some giveaways and stuff throughout that week probably and I wanted to give away some of these because I love these stitch markers. Okay for one thing they're very soft <laughs> because they are made from I believe silk and um, the class for the uh, stitch markers they are sterling silver lever backs. You can use them for knitting, you can use them for crochet. I still don't understand how the knitting stitch markers work. You pass them with, the, I don't get that, but whatever. Um, but these are super, super cute. And if you get a pair that you like to wear together or a pair of identical ones, you can wear them as earrings. I'm not wearing any earrings today at all. This is a bad hair day. There's a hat. It matches my shirt. It matches my lipstick. That's all I cared about today. But look at this. Get in touch with Lisa for the price of these because they are so reasonable, even shipping with shipping from the UK. Okay. But like I said, these are going to be for a giveaway. And yes, they came in a sweet little organza bag, which I have to get back in there. They're, they're not in there as pretty as they were when I first got them because yes, I did just pull them right out of the bag and go, ooh, ooh, ooh and look at all the pretties because that's what I do. Okay. But that is not the last thing for this week. Nay, nay. You may have seen me holding a box um, in my thumbnail. As I've said before, I currently have the world's slowest laptop. And it has recently started giving me problems. Um, I, I, I record my videos on my phone because I'm all high tech like that. 
and then I use a USB cable, plug it into the uh, computer, copy the files over, do some processing so that they're not a gig and a half for a flipping video, and um, upload them to the YouTubes, right? All fine and good. Now, it can't see the folder on my phone that has the videos and pictures in it. Yeah, still not sure if I'm going to have to email this to myself to pick up on the computer and do those things with and get it uploaded. That is yet to be seen. You'll end up seeing this video eventually. We'll have to wait on that. But what I did do, now every time we go to Walmart, we usually go a little later. You know, it's usually about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Ooh, which made me yawn <laughs> because I am tired. Um, we always try to take a walk around the store, get a few steps in, you know, it's good for you. And you never know what you're going to find. I always check the clearance, all that kind of stuff. But we also go look at electronics. And yes, I know, Walmart is not the best place to get your electronics stuff. It's usually under spec and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I look at, at the, the notebooks and the uh, laptops and stuff and the occasional tablet. This one specs caught my eye. Okay, this is a Gateway Ultra Slim Notebook. You know, it's funny. A Gateway was my first uh, computer that I purchased 20-something um, years ago. <laughs> but the specs on this really impressed me. Okay, here's the, the specs on the side of the box. It's a nice little notebook. Okay. It's a 14.1 inch FH, FHD display, which is 1920 by 1080. That's all good. I don't need fancy schmancy. I'm not playing games on it or anything like that. Uh, Intel Core i5 processor, um, an i5, that'll do. Okay, it's not the, the low end, you know, stuff. Windows 10 Home, but it's a free upgrade to 11. Uh, a 512 gig, that's a half a terabyte, solid state drive. Solid state for the win, y'all. They are so much faster. This is what got me, though. This next little bit of information. When I go looking for these things, most of the time I'm seeing 4 gigs of RAM or 6 gigs of RAM or 8 gigs of RAM. 8 is like the bare minimum for me um, because I know how it works. I have 8 gigs on my uh, work machine. It can be pokey sometimes because we have so much stuff open at once. And I say that perfectly knowing that back in the day, eight megs of RAM would have been impressive AF, okay? And now eight gigs of RAM is like, eh. Anyway, I digress. Um, this one has 16 gigs of RAM. 16. Jesse says. I went, whoa. And then I looked at the price. And I went, Bleh -bleh. I really did a double take because they had a lot of machines there that were approaching a grand, 1200 1500 This bad boy or bad girl, I haven't decided yet. It's still in the box. Um, $500. It was $499. Yeah. You know, we look at the ones that are on display. That's how you look at them there. And I went up to the counter and I'm like, um, I want one of these. You know, took him over and showed him. And then I had to, to read it off to him like four times. He couldn't find it. Now you understand. The young gentleman who was working back there near electronics was just back there basically babysitting it until they closed that section. Um, I don't think he was from that section, but he couldn't find it. It's like, okay, no problem. I'll see if I can order it later. And then I went to I went looking for it on the app and it said not in stock. And I was like, oh, crap. Crap. Only I said more explicit words. <laughs> anyway, the next morning, during my 15 minute break, I was poking around online. I said, let me go look for that computer again. Maybe I can find it someplace else on a decent deal because that really is nicely specced for me. Um, and I found it at Walmart at the store for $4.99. Beep, boop, boop. Hubby needs one too, actually. Okay. So I ordered two. I was thinking it was going to get shipped. No. They did it with their delivery. Like they deliver the groceries if you order it that way. And um, 
delivery guy comes. It's like almost six o'clock. He had a bunch of stuff in this area. And we're pretty rural out here. But yeah, brought one. And they and looking at the order, it's like, oh, it's going to be a delay on one. It's like, really? They're identical. Like, maybe they're out. I think they're out in the store. This may have been the last one. It's still in the package. I do want to get it open and get it, you know, get going with it. But I haven't had time. Because that was yesterday and that was last night. And I, when I got done with work last night, I came straight to the kitchen and um, whipped up dinner actually with uh, baby bok choy, uh, two different kinds of mushrooms. One was a king oyster mushroom and some shiitakes, um, some ginger, some soy, some gochugaru. Um, yeah, I, I made a thing and it was really good. <laughs> and it was really gone. There's nothing left over for lunch today. Um, but yeah, I didn't have time to fool with this, but I'm hoping to take care of this some tonight. Anyhow, that is my, uh, mini haul, a uh, slash happy mail. Thank you for coming by and visiting with me today and, uh, wish me luck on getting that other computer. I have a feeling they're just going to say, oops, just kidding. We're out of stock. You can't have it now because that's one heck of a price. It's even got a fingerprint reader. Like what? I won't have to type a password in every time I want to get into my own laptop. That'd be awesome. And it says, tuned by THX. This device has been tuned by THX for optimal audio performance. I really don't care. I don't listen to stuff on my laptop. It's, it's a workhorse. I process videos. I occasionally surf on it, but this chair is really uncomfortable, so I don't sit in here. Of course, this one will have a power supply that'll actually keep a charge. Um... So I'll be able to carry it with me to another room. This one, the, the world's slowest laptop, the power supply is shot. You have to leave it plugged in or it just dies. Yeah. Big, long, you know, thing with this laptop here. Anywho, thank you. I really hope you stick around. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thanks for keep coming back to see this crazy chick with crochet life and stuff. See you very soon.